Uh, Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chet Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. The original and the Passport. What's happening? Patna boy. Patna. Patna me kya? Parva hai to baad me kya? Lekin hamari range mein hai. Maine kaha baad me kya? Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi. Baat koi baat nahi. Le lo. Kya? Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Aalo. Chalo chalo. Aaj se niklo. Aalo. Rukho. Saale. words sound same but it got out of control i'm sorry i didn't hear you what you say it got out of control got out of control i hate when things get out of control oh! you fucking chopper you couldn't fucking do that There's a silver lining. We didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you if food to monkeys, they just blow their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this for just a moment? I want to get a little. Sure, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. 
It'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplur. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. R.J. Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Hmm? All right. This with a smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now your mother. Your mother, on the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no. No, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance has built up. So. When your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized, it's not me. No. It was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's we'll see. You think... Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with R.J. Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> a text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. You're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Try for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! Help! From your diaphragm! Help! Help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! Find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Ajigale. My name is Sabal. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. We're here to rescue you, son of Mohan. What about Tarpan? You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. I only want to listen. Darpan would understand. And your people tell me. Now stay close. Fantastic listener. So if you'll just tell me. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Okay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the drunk. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One, two, three! Okay, here we 
go. Driver's dead. Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. Tough man to kill, brother. That's a good thing, right? How did you know to find me? We saw Bacon's chopper nearby. He's never down this far south, and I wanted to know why. Lucky for you. We were in the area when we got Darpan's text. Well, we're here. Welcome to Banapur, home of the Golden Path. Who's this? Where's Darpan? He didn't make it. This is Ajay Gale, Mohan's son. Let me understand. Dappen's dead, hmm? And you brought me this. I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just looking for Lakshman. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? I'm sorry, brother. Amita's a little touchy. I'll talk to her. As for Lakshmana, it sounds like it could be a temple or shrine. But if that's the case, it's in the north. The north is enemy territory, and we can't get you there, not yet. Go and clear your head. Come find me when you're ready. Hmm? Oh, give him some morphine! And turn off that fucking radio! What happened to him? He fell. Pagan floods the airways and we have to endure his bullshit. Enough is enough! I told him to climb up the old bell tower, take over the transmitters, hijack the broadcast locally. Except... I can do it. Way to step up, brother. There's nobody guarding it, but it's a tricky climb. Promise me you won't fall. I promise. I won't. Sabal says I shouldn't be doing this. I am teaching you to protect yourself. Ah, the tourist. I'm Amita. This is Badra. Hi. Keep working. Look, I overreacted back there. We're at war. We keep losing soldiers. The work keeps piling up. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old, and she could use your help with some wild animals. I need you to keep the hides intact, so use this. Andra. What are you... Pick it up. Try again. Very good. 
Hey. Vajra, how are you? Good. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. It's a good Ajay. But you keep them. She has enough for her Tanka paintings. I'm sorry, Tanka what? This one is about the life of a guru. This one is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one is about Bhadra, the next Tarun Matara. The Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object, thing. <sighs> Thanks for your help. Later, I'll show you how to put those to good use. Welcome. I am Longinus. And you, you are AJ. Welcome to my church, away from church. That sells guns? Of course. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5.5. 5. It is the most invigorating read. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not! Behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah! The root of David has prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof! Uh, it is I... our Savior! It is our Savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior! So, I started thinking to myself, when the Son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 3247? For there are no empty words for you, but your very life. But maybe... Revelation 1911. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. I don't know what you're talking about. A soldier knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And for every radio tower that you free from pagans' lies, I will give you something. A reward. It is the will of God. Here. This is for the first one. Banaport is under attack! We need fighters here Sabah, now! What's happening? We're under attack! Stay away! Oh, shit! Go forth into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation! People need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. <laughs> this is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. First the hostages, then the outpost. You're not much of a listener, Ajay, but I have to admit, you've done a good job today. Thanks. It just felt like the right thing to do. Your mother would be proud. You want to reach, uh, what is it, Lakshmana? Yeah. Getting there won't be easy. 
We lost the North to Pagan Min years ago and we're struggling here in the South. I promised my mom I'd bring her ashes there. It was her dying wish. Think about it, Ajay. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Kirat. The son of Mohan Gale returning to the war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Ishwani was a smart woman. You being here and helping our cause is no accident. Stand with us, Ajay. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana, or to accomplish something greater. Did my parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Their goal was to free Kirat from Pagan's regime. Now you have a chance to help us finish the work they started. Just... Think about it, Ajay. Well, Mom, looks like we're staying. No! You're a drunk! I would not want to walk in there right now. What are they arguing about? Pagan Min soldiers are about to attack one of our camps. Amida thinks our priority should be the information the fighters have gathered. Sabal thinks saving our people is more important. How long have they been at it? Long enough. The argument never changes and their positions never move. Look, I don't want to bother you, but you're Ajay Gale, right? <laughs> Thank you for helping us. Everyone here appreciates it. I owe Golden Path for rescuing me, but honestly, I'm just... I'm just here to scatter my mother's ashes. Perhaps. But now you see what Pagan has done to this country. You are the son of Mohan Gale. Like it or not, your duty is Kirat. And your choices will carry weight. We need someone to break the stalemate between Amita and Sabal. Keep that in mind when you're in there. This is about lives. We don't act, people will die. This is about war. We need that intel. We're talking about soldiers we can use. Remember what you said about DARPA? And if I had a choice between DARPA and the intelligence, I choose the intel. Get you that intel. Okay. We've been hearing of a major attack for a while, and then Bonapo was hit, but it doesn't feel right. I think something big is coming, and the intel could confirm that. But we haven't heard from the camp since the attack, so watch yourself. Okay. How can I help? One of our camps is about to get overrun. Don't know when, but it could get messy. I need to send them all the support I can. So if you want to help, get over there, brother. It's a ball. A champion returns. Defending that rebel camp saved a lot of lives. You guys put me in a difficult position. Amita would have let our people die, and for what? For intel that we may or may not have needed? <sighs> the right choice was obvious, brother. It's what your father would have done. That's the golden path. That's the direction we were going before Mohan died. That's why I stepped up. Because I knew your father, and I respected his vision. And where does Amita fit into all of this? Look, I'll be the first to give her credit. But you don't need two heads. Not if you want to get work done. That's something your father taught me.
You need to learn what drove him, what drives us. Go to the monastery. Ah, the son of the great Mohan. Sabal tells me you're ready to learn what inspired your father. Banashur, god of gods, sang the world into existence. For that, we give him thanks. We thank the gods for giving us life. Please, take an offering basket. Ashi, how are you doing? You see, this is what happens when people abandon religion. Ashi, it could have been so much worse. Thank you. Paying respect to the families. I have never seen anything like this. I've never seen anyone carry around their mother's ashes. <laughs> yeah. You think my father's funeral was like this? I was too young. But I know his death broke the golden path. Things would be different now, if he died fighting. But he didn't. He was murdered. Murdered? Oh wait, what, what happened? All I know is that he was killed in his house east of Banapur. It's still there. Maybe you could go there and find out more about him. Just be careful. That area belongs to Noah now. I have to go. Wait, what? Embow like empower. Well, that's an archaic term. It still means disavow. What, like flammable and inflammable? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh! Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva. Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva. Welcome, my brother. You've come to a place of peace. Where the demons of modern life cannot reach you. You are safe here. Oh, my friend, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, comes from afar, seeking, seeking answers. We can give him those answers. For a nominal fee. Right, nothing in life is free. No. I'm sensing. We are sensing. We are sensing. You want to know who we are? Right, I'm Yogi, and this is Reggie. But you, stranger, you... You're the son of a legend. I see a world of danger and, and, and a mother with a blackened heart. Hey, J. Gale. Welcome to Guru Ashram. What, what are you doing here? This is my parents' house. Why don't you guys get out? Oh, what? Why does he want us to get out? I don't know. Ask him. You ask him. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, he's right here. Good for him. He knows where he is. <laughs> okay, welcome. Come in. Yeah, after all, to casse, to casse. Um, we'll clean up. We'll be, we'll be out momentarily. But first, let's uh, have a little beast pipe where we hash out the details. You're into this sort of thing, right? You know what? I think I'm okay. So, what are you guys doing here anyway? Ah, uh, AJ, we represent the interests of a certain power broker. Right, she'd like to press the flesh, as it were, a little meat greet. You being the meat. Well, we tried the carrot. Guess he wants a stick then. <laughs> hey! What the f fuck? Fugitive of 
the golden calf, killer of innocent men, women, and children of Kirat. He abandoned his people to live in the decadence of America. But he returns in chains to face judgment. Your judgment, people of Kirat. Hey, Jenkins! Some people believe you can make a difference here, AJ. This is the moment of truth. Look to your feet when you hit the arena. There'll be a blade hidden in the sand. If you do not survive, there's no hope for you or I. Oh, AJ. Welcome to Shinath Arena! Walk with me. You, you tried to kill me. And now I'm not. You know what? Fuck you. Stop. Wait here. Just listen, please. Paul has my family. Until I know they're safe, I'm trapped here doing whatever Pagan wants me to do. What does this have to do with me? The Golden Path wants Paul dead. I need my family safe. We can help each other. How? I can get you back into a stronghold. Oh, and AJ. Take it easy on Reggie and Yogi. They're being played, just like you and I. AJ, my child. I was just thinking that we should work together, you and me. And now Providence has provided the means. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. That is solace. It means do what soldiers do best, even if it requires you to come to a godless country like this. As soldiers, we protect our people through our willingness to kill. And what do we need to fulfill our purpose? Faith? Guns, AJ! Guns! Without them, how else will we pass through the sea of trouble and calm the surging tides? Help me, AJ, and the Golden Path will receive their guns. Okay. Praise God. And the scales have fallen from the boy's eyes. There was a shipment leaving over the mountain by helicopter, but it went down. I need you to take this tracker and recover the shipment before the army gets it back. The Lord will provide you with transportation. What do you say? Amen. Amen. Now go! Go! Go, AJ! One surprisingly small box, as requested. I thought it was gonna be a weapons shipment for the Golden Path. That's why I went. And it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. They lied to you. You know this. People call it the circle of life, but life is built on a pile of bones. You eat, or you are eaten. Animals call it survival. Humans call it business. Are those... Business, AJ. Terrible business. I was saved by a bullet to the head. It killed the old me, the terrible me, one you would have called a warlord. But that bullet, it made a hole in my skull that allowed the light of God to slip in, and I was baptized by the waters of Coca Falls. So those diamonds. Leviticus 1711. 
For it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. These are remnants of my past transgressions. Each diamond is a sin. And my hands have committed many. And the weapons for the Golden Path... They will have them. And better! Go! Tell Amita and Sabal they will be getting their weapons. And they may also want to know that the Blue is preparing a large shipment of opium at the OT factory. Wait, opium? Another terrible business, AJ. Now go and tell them. And when you are finished, come see me, for the Lord's work is never done. Amita. AJ, Longinus said this was from you. Thank you. Thanks, brother. He also said the opium at the old tea factory was ready to ship. We need to wipe that poison out. Wipe it out? Are you joking? We need to secure that shipment and those fields. Amita, we talked about this. Turning Kirat into a drug stake is not the answer. Sabal, we have no natural resources. What happens when we're free? The mines have been stripped, the fields have been ruined for years. So we liberate our people, then what? It's not our way, it never was. You do this, you're no better than Pagan. It's morally bankrupt. Better than being literally bankrupt. I think you're right about this. I know this isn't the way things should be. But Kirat can't survive if Sabal keeps clinging to the past. Get to the old tea factory. Secure those fields. I'm in. It's good to have you with us, brother. Mohan didn't start the golden path to peddle drugs. Amita, she's... she's lost. Get to the OT factory and burn it down. Okay. Windows don't do drugs, really? Is that it? Those fields you burnt, they weren't just drugs. They were books, they were medicine. Oh, Dad, we could have built a proper clinic. But no, Sabal says, drugs are bad and you torch a fucking future! I don't think you understand. I'm sorry. Did I speak out of turn? Should I walk ten feet behind you with my head bowed? You really? didn't see Kirat before the war. I was six years old. My parents told me I had to marry. Six! That's the world Sabal is fighting for. Just saying. Sabal is not everything he pretends to be. If he was so concerned about his tradition, why didn't he ask you to protect the statues of Kira? What? Kira statues. Paul's trying to destroy them as part of his campaign to turn the people against the Golden Path. Right now it's the last thing we need. Compound. He's vulnerable there. He likes to ship in his meat from a nearby village. That is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down.
sense. I, I, I can't. I'm literally walking into a meeting right now. All right. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just put her on really quick. No, 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 it's okay. Put her on. I will be right with you. Hi, Ashley. You did? That is amazing. <laughs> Good girl, are you getting ready for bed? Did you brush your teeth? For at least 10 seconds? That's my girl. Wanna give your mom a big kiss for me? Well, you know she gets lonely when I'm not there. You are the lady of the house. Of course, now you know daddy has to work, so... A gift? Sure, sweetheart, what did you want? A ring. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see the exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. I apologize for that, my daughter. You were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended. You? He's alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm alive. Taxi driver. Oh. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. Amita. Are you okay? Do you think this is easy? Being the first woman in the Golden Bath? The one pushing for change while everybody else talks behind your back about how you're destroying their heritage. I am every bit the fighter, the kirati that they are, but they... They just see a woman. You're a smart man, Ajay, tell me. Am I the right person for this? Sabal, he's got all these supporters and I just, I just keep thinking, are they blind? Or am I just missing the point? No, indecision is for the weak. Okay. Remember that tea plantation? The poppies, they've been shipped to an old brick factory for processing. Sabal wants to destroy it. He's so sure of himself. And you want to capture it? Exactly. That's everything we need to plan for the future while he's stuck in the past. I say yes, he says no. But I'm hoping you will be the one to do the right thing. I'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. I need you to take Noah's brick factory without destroying it. We'll put it to good use later. Ajay, be careful, huh? It's very well guarded. Sabal. Amita told me about the brick factory. And I bet she cried on your shoulder. Did she give you that sob story about being the first woman in the Golden Path? She's tried that with me. She didn't fool you, did she, brother? This heroine is poison, pure and simple. Take out Noah's men and bring down the factory. End of story. Your 
you're a drug peddler. That's what you are. Who do you remind me of? Oh, yes. Pagan. <laughs> I'm like Pagan because I have a vision for Kirat. I'm trying to take us out of your third world bullshit. It's our history, our culture, our traditions. Tradition? Like what? Marrying little girls, is that it? Is that your big plan for Badra? Oh, go for it. Go ahead, show Ajay what kind of man you are. I don't answer to you. It's Noah's turn. At least we agree on that. She didn't have a choice. Pagan forced Nor to do those things. He had her family. And how many families did she kill to save her own? Doesn't matter why she did it. She has to pay. Just like everyone else. I'll decide what happens to Nor. People of Kirat! I've given you winners to cheer for! And losers to mock. None so bloody, so desperate as today's gladiators. But there is always more blood to come! Me too. Where's my family? I'm sorry, Nora. <laughs> no! I'm so sorry. Sorry. Pagan. Pagan had them killed years ago. <laughs> I don't need your pity. I want my family back. Look, I'm sorry, but you're free now. <laughs> free. Free. Free from what? All the people I've killed? From everything I've done? I gave them this taste for blood. Your blood. Mine. Is it that what you want? Here! Take more! Take all of it, you fucking animals! Now I'm free. trouble and it's yogi you can't i still want to shoot you both uh, listen i don't blame you for wanting to put a hole in reggie here fuck fuck if we were trapped in this bloody country like you are hiding nickel passports and they're getting us to fuck over folks like you and we can't go back to india after that incident with the cow cows are right cows are Oh, so many cows. Did you hear this 10 million hits on YouTube so far? Really? Yeah, it was... Okay, look, 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 look. We... We... We, we thought no one wanted to parlay. We didn't think she was gonna throw you in the arena naked. Yes, we did. That's why you bet against him. I only technically bet against him. I, I was trying to cover the spread, my old China. He means mate. I, however, had no doubt. I bet on you, mate. Check it out. Which I'm more than willing to split with you, uh, 60-40. 40-60. Uh, right, just take the whole lot. You deserve it. Fighting with your tackle flip-flopping around. Yeah. Oh, we're very impressed. With his tackle? With his fighting tit, he was very glad to get you. I would say more 300. I want you two gone. I want you out of my house. I'm taking it back. And if you ever... We'll shoot Donald together. It's Yogi. Smoke? Leave. Right. Just just give us a second to pack. Yeah, we nesters. It's a bit of a mess. <sighs> but first. <sighs> ah. So what used to be here? One of those thankers? Yes. Clever clocks. What happened to it? Now that is a story worth telling. Yeah, drugs, intrigue, danger, it's all there. I just want the short version. Fine, the short version. We were new arrivals in Kairat. 
fresh off the boat, so to speak. Yes, and we were eager to sample the local horticulture scene. Very eager. We were not disappointed. No, not in the slightest. And it was all thanks to an, uh, a kindly old guru who helped open our minces. Right. That day, we reached a level of herbal nirvana unlike any other. When it was all said and done, we asked the guru who his supplier was. That's when we heard of Shangri-La. Shangri-La. <laughs> it's like uh, the ghost of ancient Kyra. Ancient Kyra. And yeah, it's, it's more like the ghost that never was. So it's like Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Schrodinger's Kyra. <laughs> Guys, the short version, right? Right, back on track. Um, so the guru told us he had journeyed to a story place, and when he was there, he nipped a few buds. This was all made possible through a mystical thanka that hung on this very wall. So what happened to it? Uh, it was torn to pieces and scattered throughout Kaira by persons unknown. Yeah, right, but not to worry. The old geezer sold us a map that uh, led to a cave not far from right, here. Right, a cave with a scary door. Right, really scary. As much as we wanted to chase that dragon, the door had a certain uh, do not enter sort of quality to it. So where's the map? I think we used it as a rolling paper, but no worries. The, the cave is easy to find. You just head west from it. Yeah, right. And when you find a door with a really scary face on it, you know you're in the right place. Oh, yeah, and bring us back a few buds, yeah? He's back in the world of the living. Uh, How'd I get here? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, he, he walked in holding that bank up. Right. And then you put it up in a frame here and then curled up on the floor for a kid. Yeah. You would have tried. You're speaking a weird language. <laughs> what happened? I don't know, but it was fucking weird. Mm. Was that here when you moved in? Oh, this? I was told that it's a Gale family heirloom, been passed down for generations. Did I not mention that earlier? No, you didn't. Oh. Did ask for the show version. Right, and we asked you to grab some of that wacky back here, eh? Uh, Did you find any? I was a little busy. Right, but yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah, yeah. Next time. But, you do come across that fan cut. Keep us in mind. Right. Well, we're off. We'll send someone back here to clean up the rest of our shit. All right? All right. Toodles. Toodles. Twenty-five years, and I still can't figure out if that smell is bad sanitation or just the abject loss of hope. I don't smell anything. Point keeping up with that facade anymore. So who are you? Well, look at you. American on the inside and useful on the outside. You're the perfect wolf in sheep herder's clothing. Way better than the SoCal douchebag I had to babysit at my last stop. You're both patriots, though. Both the type that'll put your hand over your gosh darn heart when you hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Fourth of July ball game. <laughs> Useful on the outside. I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Langley, as in CIA. Everything you need to know about who killed your father is in that file. What file? Why well, the plane that's about to take off. Shit. Hey, you're gonna need this. It's all fucking useless. What, you forget you're an American? Americans knock. Where's the original journal? I told you, the more work you do for me, the more little black bars get put out to pasture. Come on. Get in, I'll give you a teaser. Consider it a down payment. All right, let's hear it. When I first recruited your old man who was over a bottle of scotch in a seedy dive down in Tirtha. He was still working for Pagan Min then. His eyes were still moist and sparkling. <clears throat> Min iced the air to the karate throne. The feces hit the fan, my friend. Pardon my French. What? 
No, 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 no. I, I, I can't Don't hear worry. you. It'll be in the document I give you when you finish this job. That night, your mom left Karat. All the knives were out. Here, as I hear told, Yuma's in the middle of it. If you want answers, all paths lead to her. So what do you know about her? She's Pagan Min's second in command. Came in with him from Hong Kong. Triad connections up the Yin Yang. You know what that is, don't you? Yin Yang? Sure you do. Hmm. So what are we doing here? We're going after one of Yuma's sites and the man running it. Take him out, we'll be able to get Yuma to sing us a tune. AJ, good timing. I'm just finishing up here. This is it. My last job for you. You're on the ten-yard line now. Get in. Hold on to that. I just drank a bucket of coffee. I'm gonna need it soon. Jesus. I'm gonna lay down some truth for you, and it's not gonna be pretty. Your dad tried to kill your mom because she was about to walk away from everything. The golden path, Karat, the cause. But what? Fact. Your mom was Hakuna Matata, or whatever the heck they call the young girls. Fact. Your mom was spying on Pagan, even though she liked the guy. Fact. Your father was a patriot. I've never met a patriot who isn't a son of a bitch. As for the rest of it, another of Yuma's lieutenants needs doing. Take care of it! the target? Yeah, yeah, I took care of him. Are we going after you Get now? It. Consider this information your last paycheck. You've been killing CIA assets this entire time. We're cleaning house. Pagan no longer represents a clear and present danger to the U.S. We needed to erase our footprint with your act. You did a damn fine job of it! So everything you told me is a lie. What I said about your mom and your old man, all that was true. What I told you about Yuma... You can ask her yourself! What the fuck are you doing, man? Sorry, kid, but like I told you, every patriot I know is a son of a bitch! You left the bag on his head? Can he breathe? Do you at least punch holes so he doesn't suffocate? Hello. Did we enjoy our time with the CIA? Welcome to Degesh. I apologize for the Spartan accommodations, but you have been a naughty little shit, haven't you? Gallivanting about with a golden path. And poor Paul. Are you still sore about what he did with your little monkey friend? What was his name? Uh, deadpan, dipshit, doorknob, I... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for your ennui. But let me ease him into this humor. You're about to mindfuck the poor boy. Perhaps a little sugar on your shit sandwich? Whatever. You've seen him. He's still breathing. Now go away. I've got work to do. Fine, fine, fine. But I want him alive. With all the bits that count intact. But one last thing. RJ, I know this is hard, but consider this tough love, prison love. After all, you have a suite with a spectacular view. Hmm. Oh, and uh, one final piece of advice. I wouldn't sleep too close to the edge. Whatever you say. Get on the floor. Why? Get on the fucking floor! I'm on the floor. What are you doing? What is that? Ah. Uh, what was it?
Falling dream? A lot of people fall around here. Most of them don't wake up. That's what this place does to weak men. found you before you froze to death. How did you find me? Kira showed me the way. It took a week to track you down. I prayed constantly for your safe return, and the gods made it so. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Kira. Besides, keeping you alive is good for the cause. That's one thing Amita doesn't understand. I'll always have your back, brother. something for me? I do. We've been able to free the people of the South, but the North has been cut off from us because of King's Bridge. It is time to take the battle to Pagan's doorstep and free the North. Now, the bridge is heavily defended. The main gate is made of blast-resistant concrete. Forget C4 or conventional explosives. The defenses will shred any frontal attack. So what do we do? I have a plan. There's a convoy with a chemical truck. I want you to secure it, drive it down their throats, and blast open the gate. It'll take us into the north, and you'll be one step closer to Yuma. They're waiting for you downstairs. Jay, thank you for reuniting us with the Golden Path in the south. You can tell Amita and Sabal we are ready to fight. They have targets picked. You have a lovely, Hake. lovely home. No! It's my family. Very charming. Who is this? Oh, my life. And look at you, a lovely couple to match a lovely home. Very salt of the earth. You know, I was told that if I ever wanted to experience the hospitality of Utkash, that I had to visit the Ranas. Oh, we questioned everyone too. And everyone said the exact same thing. They are the friendliest. They will talk to anyone. To anyone, I say. To everyone, they say. Hmm. Well, they were so emphatic that I decided I had to see it for myself. <laughs> He's cute. You see, I uh, wanted to warn you. Warn us, sir? Yes. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard, but it's come to my attention that... There are some very disreputable people around. And I'm concerned that these people, these terrorists, well, they might take advantage of your hospitality. Maybe ruin your wonderful reputation. 
And we wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? No, sir. No. Well, would you allow me to protect you? To ensure your reputation? Please, yes, Kingman. Your wish is my command. <laughs> I'm so glad we could agree on this. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, this should only take a moment. And they say I've lost touch with my subjects. No! They'll kill you! I'm getting pagan. Okay. We're just in time. Pagan's broadcast is starting. What's this about? No clue, brother. But we're going to find out. of Kirat. I'm sure you will all be delighted to know that the reports of my death are completely and utterly inaccurate. I am alive and all is right in the world. The life brings change and I implore you Kirat to look to my example and see it as the positive influence it is. Change requires strength. And it is a strength that I know all of you possess. Now, I recently experienced change within my own organization. Miss Knorr and Paul Deplor, after years of dedicated service, have decided to move on. I'm sure you will all join me in wishing them well in their future endeavors. But like them, we must look forward, not back. The attempt on my life is nothing more than a symptom of resistance to change. Rest easy. For Yuma Lao, my trusted commander-in-chief, who oversees our mining operations at the KEO facility, stands between me and any would-be assassin. She would rather die than see any harm come to me. Go ahead, I challenge you. Put her resolve to the test. To summarize, change is good. Embrace it. Your king is alive. Rejoice. And Yuma stands like a sentinel, waiting. Bring it on. Sounds like he's calling us out. The mines. You know what to do.
no toys in bed. Hey, Badra. Hi. Or should I call you Turumatara? Badra is good. For now. What's wrong? Whoever captures Jalandu Temple will lead the Golden Path. The future of Kirat is at stake, and I'm caught between Amita and Sabal. You've seen them fight. You know how they are. Amita wants to destroy the temple. She says that this will free the women of Kirat and break us away from outdated traditions like the Tarun Matara. I thought Tarun Matara was a good thing. Sabal thinks it is. If he captures the temple, he'll complete the ceremony and make me Tarun Matara. He says that embracing our traditions is what will make us stronger. And what do you want to do? I want to free Kirat. But I can't choose on my own. Amit and Sabal will never agree, so... This leaves you, RJ. You've made a difference here. The Golden Path will listen to you. But you have to understand that whoever you back at Jalandu will become the unquestioned leader of the Golden Path. And once Pagan is defeated, they will control Kirat as well. told me about your plan to take down Jalandu. This isn't just about destroying the temple. This is about sending a message to everyone. It's a new day for Kirat. We're no longer shackled to the past. Without the Tarun Matara, we will expose Sabal for what he really is. A simple-minded fool squatting on ruins. We'll take everything valuable so we can melt it down and sell it. But the temple itself, I want you to crush it into dust. Sabal, I hear Amit is ready to move on Jalandu. That ignorant bitch! It's bad enough having Pagan destroying everything. Now she wants to do his job for him? I'm done with her. I can't tell you what Jalendo means to Kirat, what it means to Mohan. He's proud of you, you know? We're taking the temple. We're cleansing Badra. We're uniting the people under the light of Kira. We will see you ordained, I swear it. You will become Tarun Matar. God be praised, we're almost free now. Brother? You asked to see me. I just wanted to thank you. This moment right here, this is your doing. I promise you, I won't forget the son of Mohan when this is finally over. Your father will be proud. Now listen. 
The Golden Path needs one voice and a meter. She's out of control. Look, look around you. This is what Kirat needs. Stability, tradition, honor. She keeps second-guessing every decision I make. Artillery! Ajay, they're shedding Utkash. Go! Go! What do you think you're doing? This isn't your ride. I've got one last job before we wrap things up. Amita needs to go. It's the will of Kira. It's the only way to spare Kira from more bloodshed. Hey. She's just another pagan. Do what needs to be done, brother. You. He sent you to kill me. I knew it'd come to this, but you? Who else pulls the trigger around here? <sighs> Good point. Sabal hides behind his blind faith in tradition, and you just... You follow along like one of his subjects? I actually believed you when you said all you wanted to do was honor your mother's dying wish. Go on, son of Mohan, savior of Kirat. Follow your orders, pull the trigger. I'm sure it's the will of Kirat. Come in! I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot that on your way in. Now, before we begin... To whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down, let's be civilized, enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat right here. Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Stay here, enjoy the crab rangoon, don't move, I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter mother's ashes together.
day, bro. Oh, Mr. Gale. Well, I guess that's it then. No more mayhem and destruction. Hanging up the old rocket launcher. All right. I really love what you've done with the place. Uh, It'll be sad to see you go. Put it on the shelf, as it were. Gathering dust. Unless. <coughs> Some unfinished business, perhaps. Who sends the snip for people to kill? That's why I just said, though. It's Yogi, Pratt. Smoke? Smoke? Not this time. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the Crab Rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Oh, fan bloody tastic. You, sir, are a gentleman. I sincerely apologize. We saw terrorists in the area and yada yada. The Crab Rangoon, right? It. <laughs> Fabulous. Mm. Well, come on, let's go. Three point landing. You know, part of me is surprised your mother asked for you to bring her all the way back here. Thank you, Comron. You want me to follow you? Jesus Christ. Yes, boy, the ashes aren't going to scatter themselves. Your mother ever tell you about your father? Never know. Mohan, the great protector of the Golden Path. <laughs> he was a cunt. He hauled your mother out, sent her to spy on me. But we fell in love. We had a child. And that is when Mohan showed his true colors. <laughs> he drove you and your mother away. He even killed your sister, Lakshmana. Which brings us here. Lakshmana shouldn't be alone anymore. I'm so glad we're finally back together. After you. Good. You feel better now? Get it out of your system? Perfect. Maybe now we can finally shoot some goddamn guns. 